Right, hello YouTubers, it's me again. Uh, just thought I'd keep you updated with what's going on. Uh, at the moment, uh, I'm sitting on a very cold day ticket lake. Uh, one of the best little kept secrets, I think, uh, in the Essex Chelmsford area. Uh, but more about that a little bit later on. Uh, but first, a little message from the Don, Del Ritchie. It's the way we ramble. Right, we're joined again by Mr. Del Ritchie. He's uh, on the Slyfish uh, stall. Del, take it away, my friend. Slyfish, gotta get on it. Caps, tops, shirts. Get on the Slyfish. You know it makes sense. Right, here we are. Uh, I thought I'd come now and tell you a little about a bit this, uh, a bit about this day ticket water that I'm fishing. And if you want to get on here, go to the Essex Carp Syndicate's website and uh, get the owner's number, and you can give him a buzz, and you'll be able to get on this. It's right next to the mill. It's uh, just on the outskirts of Chelmsford, and it's some absolute cracking fish in here. I've had big hits in here. I've fished it six times. Uh, I've walked away from here with 15, 16 carp in the bag. Well, not walked away with them, but like, you know, I've uh, had about 15, 16 carp, including three or four wild carp on that session as well. Uh, I've never blanked on here. And uh, this one's going to be a bit of a tough test because it's only the 2nd of February, so there's ice on the water. It's bloody cold, uh, but it's not expensive. It's a pretty little place. You've got overhanging willows all around it on the further up. Uh, it's a gorgeous little place to be actually. The fish in here, they're good. They fight like hell. I've had uh, mirrors up here over 22. I've had commons to 23 and a half. Uh, and just keeping it nice and simple. Fishing around the margins. A little bit of loose feed, not a lot. But just, just keeping it simple. Old fashioned basic tactics. Want to bring a kid down as long as you look after them it's not a problem uh, they can happily catch roach and rud and perch and all that all day so it's not hard there's a lot of fish in here so uh, when you're fishing winter like this i mean it is absolutely freezing you've got to kind of go to the venues where you've got high fish stock so you've got a good chance of catching there's no point going over a lake there's 10 acres it's only got six fish in it you might catch one it's going to be a whacker but you've got a lot more chance of coming out and having a good few in a little place like this so uh, anyway I was at the Essex Carp show last week and uh, so I bumped into Del Ritchie and uh, I'd heard rumours that him and Maeve were part in company I went and spoke to Del Ritchie and asked him if the rumours were true and uh, so we had a little chat and he was on the uh, fishinginfrance.co.uk stand and uh, he told me about a couple of lakes that he's been doing some work with Carp Invasion, Echangla Rocha and all that so you go on the old uh, fishinginfrance.co.uk website you can see what Dell's been up to and if the rumours are true now the next bit you'll see is the interview from the carp show I did with Dell and then uh, See what you think. I think it's a bit of a shame that uh, Maver have lost him because he's a good asset, old Dell. He's a nice fella. So next bit you see, that'll be Dell. Right, I'm now joined by Dell Ritchie, uh, as you can see, uh, fishinginfrance.co.uk. And uh, Dell, what you got planned for the next year, mate? This coming year, I've left Maver, so I'm no longer with ours. And uh, I'm going out to get a new lake, uh, 20 acres or plus, and we're going to be living out in France. I've had enough with this smelly old country, and I'm ready to rock and roll in France. Somewhere in Normandy, as you can see, uh, they've got one lake which is called La Rocha. That's a brand new lake. We're going out to do a little bit of work out there over the next week or so. Um, that's got some lovely fish in it, up to 60 pounds. And then uh, we've got the other one, which is Carp Invasion. Uh, that's a small little three acre lake, which is very, very nice. And uh, if you look on the internet, 
you'll see um, some brilliant, brilliant. It's got a beautiful lounge, lovely furniture, everything in there. So if you're going to go away with your wife, your girlfriend, or the family, you can go to that one, and it's lovely. Um, fantastic. So basically, what you're saying, if you want a top holiday with good facilities, this could be one of the places oh, to go, though, yeah? Oh, definitely. Definitely. You know, like with carp to £60, pound, you know, you can't go wrong. There's 50s, 30s, 20s, that. It's just full of fish. Full of fish. And we're going to see you back in the papers again, Del, with some of these waggers? When I get out there and start catching them. All right then, well that's the word from Mr Del Ritchie, so uh, we'll see you all soon. Thanks what a lot, What you got to do is get it on with the dawn. Come on! That's see you later! And that's Mr Del Ritchie. Cheers, Del. Cheers. Right, I'm up the other end of the lake now, and uh, standing underneath the willows, there's a lot of them up here, all overhanging, lovely little thing. It looks so good in the, in the summertime. Winter time just doesn't do it any justice, but uh, we're up near my favourite peg, or well, the one I've had some of my best results in. It's the last peg on the lake. It's uh, about peg number eight. There's only seven or eight pegs on here. And uh, gorgeous little peg this is. Had a lot of fish from under that overhanging tree there. And on the far margin. Sunlight's not doing us any favours at the moment, so it's hard to see. Excuse me, I have to see. But uh, yeah, I've just spoke to my mate Jay who's over here. He's come over with me. Uh, he's had a few little roach. He's been into a carp, lost it. But we're only using light tackle, so like little hooks and things like that. So uh, yeah, I mean, he's not a bloke who's going to be on camera very often. It's not his thing. So uh, we leave him down there. But uh, he's had a few results already. So you're looking 2nd of February. It's one degree above freezing and uh, we're catching fish. I've had a couple of little roach, so uh, yeah, it's all happy days. So if uh, you want to get a little little session on here, obviously it's going to be a lot better in the summer, but uh, yeah, go on the Essex Carp Syndicate's website, get hold of the owner's phone number, and uh, yeah, he should uh, see you on here all right. No problem. One thing I will say to you, find a nice patchy in between the weed it's not too weedy there's some of it but uh, it's lovely the water clarity in here is absolutely superb as you can see I'll come down here it's gin clear it will be this time of year but uh, yeah lovely little venue so uh, well worth getting on around about three acres in size but uh, cracking little lake Right, still at the meal day ticket, and uh, just to let you into it, have a look at that pair of cracking bream. Nice sized roach next to it as well. Remember, this is only February the 2nd, so uh, yeah, I mean, fish are still coming out. I've had a couple of nice roach, my mates had a couple of really nice bream if you're into that sort of thing. The carp haven't come on yet, but uh, we're not really going for them if the truth be known. But uh, yeah, so see what you think. All happy days here, mate. Still here at the Mill Day ticket. We've had uh, some lovely bream. If you like bream, it's not my normal bag. I'm normally a pure out and out carp fisherman. But uh, short sessions, this time of year, uh, it's just nice to come and get the rods out when you can. Uh, it's getting really cold now for thinking about doing overnighters, unless you're really geared up for it. I mean, I do them. I'm geared up for it, but. Uh, it's not much point. I mean, by tomorrow morning, the lake is going to have a lid on it. It's, it's get, it's that cold. You know, we're talking minus figures for the rest of the week. So uh, it's just nice to come down and get a rod out of some sort and uh, have a couple of fish. So, so we come down to the, the mill day ticket. You can get get to it through uh, Essex Carp Syndicates and phone them up. Come down. You can do it for the summer. Give you a 24 hour ticket if you want it or 36 hour. Uh, as long as you book it. But uh, yeah, we've come down, we've had a few nice few nice fish, some nice roach, some nice bream. The carp haven't come on. I was hoping to catch a winter tench, to be honest with you. Uh, I haven't had one for a long time, because I use great big whacking baits normally, and uh, the tench don't normally take to them too kindly. 
so uh, but yeah I'd, I'd thoroughly recommend this little place it's a it's a pretty little lake in the summertime it's gorgeous uh, so it's not an arm and a leg and if you can't catch on here you, you've got to be doing something pretty pretty wrong really and if you want a short session day ticket well this has got to be one of the places to to give it a go you know it, it really is uh, up there with some of the good little day tickets it's clean it's tidy the swims are dug out well it's nice reed lines plenty of little features yeah, that's all you need so uh, anyway we're going to give it another couple of hours before the light goes and uh, it might look bright but the sun is starting to drop now but uh, now it's starting to get really bloody cold so uh, if we catch any more you know we'll come back to you just to let you know them bream around about four pound five pound stamp uh, roach was pretty good as well so uh, anyway catch up with you soon cheers Right, we're outside Mr. Darrell Peck's stall, releasing his new book. As you can see there, it's priced at £30. Pound. I turn around, there is the man himself, having a consultation. He does tuition, tutorials, everything else like that. That's just some more of the things you can see at the Essex Carp Show. And uh, so he was going to have a chat with him, but he's busy, so we'll leave him a crack on and uh, we'll talk to him another day. As you can see by his book. If Box Ball would have stayed as it was, it would have been immense. You know, all the pug, all the ones that have ended up into... Full of lovely illustrations. Right, just before we leave the mill, I'm just going to walk you down into one of the swims. They're pretty much like this, most of them. Uh, all nicely wood chips. Clean, tidy, lovely condition. And just to give you a little look at the lake, this is what we've been fishing. It's all... Uh, overhanging willows at the top it's not a big triangle it's uh i was fishing in that corner over there a few nice roach cut the bream jay had a few nice bream up to about four and a half maybe pushing five pound good bag of roach but we only come over here for some small stuff today and uh, i suppose we achieved our target in a way it'd be nice to have a carp on a feeder but it didn't happen just get got the bream but uh yeah smashing little day ticket like and if you go through essex carp syndicates uh through the website get the phone numbers and uh you shouldn't have too much problem getting on here it's not big but it's not many swims on it so don't get too pressured but uh nice little lake Anyway, that's enough from me, and uh, I shall see you next time, preferably when it's warmer. Take care, YouTubers. Ta-da. Right, hello, YouTubers. Me again. A uh, little bit of a competition for you. You can have a 24-hour session on a day ticket meal, uh, one I did the feature on. All you've got to do is answer this. At the start of my blog, who was the guy that was casting out? Right. On the car he was on the casting grounds at the Essex Carp Show when I was there filming it. So uh, if you can tell me who that was, that will give you a 24-hour session on that mill free day ticket lake. I'll also throw in, well I've been told I'm throwing, a couple of kilo of bait for you. And all you've got to do is phone 07923 46624 and that will get you through to green baits and then they'll organise it. Uh, what the plan is, is a 24 hour session on mill free. Uh, be doing some zigging, because we'll do it around the springtime, so we won't be going to none of them silly ropes or silly bream, because like, the bream are too snotty and I don't do them. Uh, hadn't done it for years, thought we'd have a little go just to catch some fish, but snotsville, can't be doing it. So what we'll be doing is some zig fishing in the springtime, uh, all good, all, all happy days. So all you've got to do is name the guy at the front of the blog, phone the number, and a uh, couple of kilo of bait, and a 24-hour session is all yours. And uh, that's all happy days. I shall catch up with you next time on YouTube. Whatever you're doing, take care. If you're going fishing, hope you have a couple. Cheers.